road back to title contention and a heavyweight championship opportunity for this man, but he has put in all the right work, and a lot of people give him a great chance to get the job done tonight. You know, when you've been there and you get back here, it's not new. There are a lot of things that are familiar, but how do you change the result? How do you assure that in this time, during this chance, you ultimately walk away with the championship? You've been here before, John. The team has been here before. They are confident that this time they get it done. And that self-belief is rooted in the preparation, right? He's got speed, he's got power, all the tools to wrest the belt away. We'll see if we have any new making the UFC walk yet again, and you can be sure when Kimbo's on the fight card, the masses are tuning in. Everybody's tuning in. There are fight parties all around the country. Yes. Kimbo's fighting. He just has that ability to get people together to compete. He's one of those guys that, regardless of wins and losses, still want to see him go. But trust me, Kimbo lands the right hand. Yes. Most times he is getting his hand raised. A phenomenal, phenomenal boxer, has professional boxing experience, and also just a draw in every sense of the word. Good to see Kimbo Slice ready to go here tonight. Kimbo Slice has graced the octagon. He is ready to fight. So her Dean third man in there for this one. Ready. Good. All right, going to be very interesting to see how this one plays out early on, particularly when it comes to that man, Kimbo Slice. You know he's got a flair for the dramatic. He has been a fast starter, but will the opposition give him a little bit of pause here in the early going? Let's see. Just out of range with that right hook. Block there. Oh, nice combination. What a great job getting that kick to the target. Oh, beautiful counter. Superman punch lands. So one minute into this fight, as many people expected, the action absolutely crazy, back and forth. This is a full-on brawl piece. It's hard to watch a fight like this and call a fight like this because you never know when somebody's going to take that one shot that finishes the fight. You wonder if the offensive fighter is going to start to get frustrated here. Most stiff on all of these shots are getting blocked. They're getting blocked because he's fighting one of the best defensive fighters in the UFC. Nice. Back to the jab now, no good. Stuffs the takedown, no problem. Big elbow there. Under three minutes now to go in what has been a very fast-paced opening round here. Well, his opponent seemed to be stunned to a significant extent, but was able to recover, and it's almost like he let him off the hook. Kind of let him off the hook. He needed to really put his foot on the gas to try to find that pin. So he counters with an effective punch there, and at least in that situation, it paid to have the advantage in reach. Oh, nice inside kick. Both fighters start to open up a little bit. Nice job blocking that punch.
Just over two minutes to go in round one. Lands a solid kick right there. All right, he engages in a single power tie here. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Kimbo Slice. In the tie clinch, look for the knees to start. Another punch to the head. Head kick partially blocked. You know, that's, that's a big thing whenever you're blocking high kicks, man. You cannot just take the brunt of that kick on one arm. You have to get that cross arm to try and guide that kick so you don't take all of it. Well, not much of a setup there. Misses with the left hook. Switch kick lands. Throwing that jab, no good. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Gets in close and gets that single collar tie locked in tight. Lands a quick jab. Straight right, he misses. Leg kick is true. Kimbo slices, nose is bleeding now. Yes, looks as though he got cut by one of those offerings from his opponent. Oh, the switch kick now. Second round, straight ahead. All right, so the round is over, and you see the cut man not wasting any time as the fighter makes his way back to the stool. The cut man will try to shut that cut on the bridge of his nose and prevent it from becoming a factor here moving forward. All right, so there's the horn signifying the end of the round. A stunner there with the head strike midway through. Nearly got him out of there for good. Almost got him out of there. He hurt him badly. He had his opponent hurt real bad. Now his opponent's walking back to his corner, Everybody looks confused. They don't know what they're supposed to do to try to change the way that this fight is going. You ready to fight? Ready. All right, here we go with round two. All right, next round is now underway. I thought there was pretty good back and forth action in the previous round. Yes, it wasn't a bar fight. It wasn't two guys throwing the kitchen sink at each other. But you did see times where they came together and you saw the skill level of these two fighters. Nice job moving off the center line. He slips to a board that way. Oh, a nice slip, and then the counter finds its home. So really starting to put it all together on the feet. And as his coaches suggested, making good use of his reach advantage. Whiffs on the straight right hand. Good body work with that hook. An elbow! Oh, he's got him hurt badly now. Moving to his left. Oh, man, the blood is flowing now. Got to figure some things out defensively or this fight's going to end. He's got to move his head, John. But the problem is, now he's got the blood to deal with. He's got a sharp striker in front of him. He has got a lot of things to deal with if he wants to win this fight. But right now, the focus needs to be on the head movement so you're not getting hit in that cut. His misses are entertaining. Well, he's doing a nice job here blocking these shots. The chin is tucked, the hands are high. Pretty good job defensively thus far. Great job defensively. He's seeing everything coming. Oh, just out of range with that punch attempt. Fighter lands a left punch now. Just over three minutes now to go in round two. He's got that jab working, nicely done. 
All right, so a seminal blow earlier in the round. It wasn't a knockdown, but it was certainly a stunner that caught his attention. Oh, I mean, he got hurt bad. To see him still standing, that just goes to the toughness that he has to be still standing after taking such a damaging shot. A little single power tie there. Well, he's really picked up the pace here in round two. Much more aggressive now here and starting to find himself in the pocket. Oh, nasty cut right on the bridge of the nose. He is bleeding. Missed with that right hand. Good kick. Just over two minutes to go. Slips the punch nicely there. Oh, beautiful technique on that straight punch. He's throwing bombs every time. Oh! Oh, no! Slice is blocking pretty well. Another one! Well, no denying the durability on the other side, but at this point, you just gotta find that kill shot and get him out of it. A lot of times that comes with reps, that comes with taking your time. You get excited, and you want to finish it, you think it's right there, but at times you just overswing and you miss it. He needs to slow down if he wants to get his opponent out of this fight. Well, you know this is the hurt business, and both guys are compromised at this stage of the fight. Yeah, both guys are compromised. Both guys have been beat up. Both guys have done a great job of landing, recognizing what they wanted to get done, and it's showing. This is a very evenly matched fight. Under a minute to go in the round. Oh, it seems as though his sole focus is attacking that cut, and man, it's getting bad now. A lot of blood flow. Yeah, as it should be. Right? He should be focused on getting to that cut, making his opponent pay. He did the work. He opened up the cut. Now it's on him to continue on the path and make the ringside position come in here and try to stop this fight. Oh, swelling and blood. You wonder if at some point that's going to impact the breathing. Not a good situation for him here. Nice jab. Follows up with a nice right hand. 15 seconds to go. Straight right hand. You're wrong. Right. All right, back to the stools we go, and that is a really severe cut. So we will monitor him between rounds as they furiously get the cut man in there. Got it under control. Just do not focus on the blood. Don't worry about the cut. Just protect it. All right, let us get you some replays from the damage in that previous round. Perhaps we can even isolate the shot that opened the cut. I mean, just some big shots landed over the course of that round. And he wasn't responsible defensively. He was trying to tough out way too many situations. You can't do that when you're fighting a guy like this. If he doesn't change something, he's going to find himself in trouble. You ready? You ready? Go. Here we go. Third round of this championship fight. Sets up that leg kick beautifully. Slices hook to the body was blocked. Right idea, wrong execution. Well, not only has he stayed aggressive as he was in the previous round, landing a high volume of strikes, but he's also been efficient, not just with his strikes, but also with his body movement. Complete performance out of this fight over here tonight. Wind it up. Oh! Huge right hand! Slice is really bleeding heavily now. That cut is only getting worse by the minute. Oh, another heavy shot gets through. Lands the ground and pound strike. Vision could become an issue, and that left eye starting to close.
Rice getting absolutely worked from the top here on the wrong end of nearly all of these ground and pound strikes. Really maximizing his shots here on the ground. Oh, he is a bloody mess as another strike gets through right on that cut. On oh, another punch on the ground gets through, may need some defense here. All right, so the referee, yes, is going to step in here. He will call on the doctor to look at that nose that is unrecognizable at this stage of the fight. His nose is broken. Yeah. I mean, it's turned sideways. The blood's pouring, going down into his mouth. It looks like he's having a very difficult time breathing. Crowd wants the fight to continue, and it looks as though it will, but maybe stylistically might have to change some things and get aggressive because that cut's not getting any better. That cut is only going to get worse. Every time you get hit in it, it just gets worse and worse. He's going to have to take some chances, try to end this fight right now. Oh, he continues to land a high number of strikes in this round. Really hasn't let up when it comes to his aggressiveness. Certainly have to be mindful that you don't gas out, but you got to like the output on display here. Slice's nose is absolutely mangled at this stage of the fight. I'm no doctor, but I feel pretty convicted in saying that thing is definitely broken, and we might get a ringside physician or a referee to stop this fight here soon. just being more aggressive, and because he's being more aggressive and more loose with his strikes, he's landing. So we have crossed the midpoint in this one. Oh, shot to the body connects there. He hasn't really thrown too many body strikes in this fight, but now, as this fight goes... He's hurt! He's hurt! Nice leg kick. Well, I am not going out on a limb when I say he is on the wrong side of this fight. Maybe a little bit rattled after getting knocked down earlier in the round. But that's exactly what you expect, right? Since such a bad knockdown early, it's going to be on him to build back into this fight as we go forward. Slice gets hit with a kick. Oh, man, you got it. Oh, back to his feet. What a fight. Straight right hand now just misses. Oh, he's really starting to apply pressure on his opponent here. Different approach here in the last couple rounds. And it's the exact sense of urgency that you want to see from a fighter. Take the judges out of it. Oh, body kick attempt here. It's no good. All right, so some definite damage underneath the elbow now on the side of his opponent. A lot of strikes to the body starting to, starting to add up. Yeah, a lot of strikes to the body and mixing up the attack. Not being one-dimensional, not headhunting inside the octagon. I, I think he has fought beautifully right now and it's starting to show itself. Big right hook there by the champ. All right, 45 seconds now to go in the round. Best knockouts we've seen all year. In a very long time. I have not seen someone look this good. He promised us something, and he delivered with that beautiful knockout.